In this video, we're going to take a look at creating the rail geometry for our track main corridor and also create the 3D model of the rails. And we're going to do that by utilizing the Create Rails tool. So the Create Rails tool allows us to create our left and right rail geometry in 2D and it also gives us the ability to create a 3D model of the rails as well. So to create the rails, we're going to go up to the Create Rails tool so I'm just going to go over here and click on Create Rails. It's going to bring up the Create Rails toolbox. Now in order to place the uh, 3D model of the rails or create the 3D mesh of the rails, we need to toggle on the Create Rail Mesh here. So I want to go over here and we want to make sure this is toggled on. And when you toggle this on, it's going to uh, have a default template name here. So I'm going to go over here and browse to our template library. You're going to see we have a single rail template or rail component set up here so you want to select single rail that's going to define how it's going to uh, process in the 3D model and create the 3D mesh of the rails for us so I'm going to select that and then down here we have some options for our left and our right rail and this applies to our civil geometry or our left and right rail geometry that we're going to be offsetting from our main geometry so you want to come over here and tell it to create the rail geometry for your left rail and also toggle on create rail geometry for your right rail key in your offset and then down here at the bottom portion of the dialog we want to make sure we select the proper feature definition so in this case we're going to be using rail 3d line and then the name we're just going to key in rail and now at this point we're just going to follow the heads up prompts so now it's prompting us to select our track center line well in this case it is our track main center line so we're going to come over here and select our track main alignment that's going to prompt us for the cant so we're going to go and select our cant and then it's going to prompt us for the start station so I'm going to press alt on my keyboard to lock into the start station and left click to accept that and then for the ending station I'm going to press alt on my keyboard left click to accept that and then press enter and it's going to go through and do some processing it's going to draw our rail geometry in 2D and it's also going to create the 3D mesh of the rails in the 3D model. So when I come up here and close my Create Rails toolbox, zoom into the 2D model here and let's review the 2D rail geometry that it created. So I come over here and we select our left rail. You can see that's civil geometry. Select our right rail. You can see that civil geometry and the proper feature definition. We can go into our properties here. We can take a look at all the parameters that were used to create the real geometry. If we take a look at the 3D model. We zoom in a little bit closer. You can see the 3D rails that were created in the 3D model. And then also in the cross-sectional view here, if you zoom in a little bit closer and you scroll through the cross-sections, you'll see that we have the rails drawn into the cross-sections as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.